Hello, this is Eric at the Prince Short Ford Pre-Owned Supercenter, and we're taking a look at the 2019 Ram 3500 in a limited trim and powered by a 6.7 liter inline six Cummins turbo diesel, providing you with plenty of power for towing, hauling, and 4x4ing. Coming with power deployable running boards down below so you can have an easier time getting in. Heavy duty mud flaps on the front and rear tires and a color match canopy on the back to keep your belongings covered and protected from the elements. You've got some nice accessories and freshly detailed. It's looking nice and new, but let's take a look inside. And first looking into the back where you have spacious seating for three with a nice full leather interior which can be lifted up and out of the way to accommodate any other cargo. You even have sort of cargo mats here so that you can uh, have all your stuff level and with storage compartments underneath and you even have some more storage bins under the floor mats for a ton of storage capacity in this vehicle and in the middle you have fold out armrests with two cup holders you have two more in the middle here and two more down there so you have six in total in the back you have two usbs and two usb c's uh, heated rear seats and a 115 volt power outlet this truck does also have a remote start, so no need to go outside on those cold mornings to warm up your vehicle. And looking in, you have power windows, power mirrors, and power locks. You have power folding uh, flip-out towing mirrors. You have two memory buttons for your power adjustable driver's seat, and I believe also your pedals and your mirrors. And now sitting in the vehicle with it running, you can see it's sitting at uh, 25,251 kilometers. And moving down to the steering wheel, on the right-hand side, you have your cruise controls with distance pacing technology, as well as your manual gear shift, so you can go up and down. And then on the left, you have your hands-free phone controls, as well as your controls for your center info screen here, where you can cycle through your digital speedometer, uh, all of your vehicle info. You have a ton that you can look at here. Um, you have your driver assistance features, your fuel economy, trip information for trip A and B, your trailer tow status, your audio controls, messages such as warnings, I believe, and your screen setup in general. Then moving on, you do have your hands-free radio controls on the back side of the steering wheel, but then moving on to your center, your infotainment screen, which is radio serious. Uh, Bluetooth, CD, and USB capable, so you have quite a few options there for whatever you want to listen to. You have all of your seat controls here because you do have heated and air-conditioned front seats as well as a heated steering wheel so you can stay comfortable. And then you have your digital climate controls here with dual zone front climate so you can stay at different temperatures and remain comfortable. You have all of your apps and controls here in one centralized location, so that's pretty convenient too. Um, and you have your navigation screen, so you're hopefully not going to get lost on your travels. Your phone controls, uh, but we don't have one connected. And then you have your surround sound, or sorry, not surround, uh, your surround view camera. So you have a backup camera with a full 360 view, so you're going to be able to see all around your truck and hopefully avoid hitting anything. Um, but then moving up, you have your hazards, traction control shut off. Up here you have a 12-volt power outlet, and you do have a Harmon Cardon uh, premium stereo in this vehicle so your music is going to sound pretty decent. Uh, left and right you have your physical media controls or media and climate controls it's all around the screen. You have your trailer brake controller, your diesel exhaust brake, your tow haul mode, your front and rear park assist sensor shut off, you have your uh, CD player there, you have two USBs, two USB-Cs, and your auxiliary, so you can plug something into power charge or hook up your audio that way. To the left, you have your 4x4 controls, and then down here, you have your uh, two cup holders, your sort of little storage change bin here, and then this can be slid out of the way to uh, you know, access other stuff. Here you have a wireless charging pad. You just clip your phone into here and it will begin to charge. And then you have a 115 volt power outlet right there. Move this out of the way. And then you have your center compartment slash armrest with a USB in there. And then this flips up out of the way too for even more storage back here. So that's pretty neat. Then looking back, you have a power sliding rear window you want to just access your canopy quickly and then last but not least you do have a power moonroof up top but that should cover our look at the interior so now if you're interested feel free to give us a call at 250-563-8111 or just come on down to the dealership and have a look for yourself and have a nice day